guys, this is Tisha, and welcome back to my channel. This hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, May 17th. You guys, I have been really, really strong, rocking hard, tough with these watermelon refreshers at Duncan. Like, Duncan finally got it right. What a drink. But now, I'm gonna tell you, it looks like that last throw up you have when you're sick or the throw up you have when you're pregnant. What? Girl, why it look like this? It looks sick. Lord, cover my stomach. But anyway, wait a minute. Are you smacking? And Piper has a what? What kind of donut you got? Donut. Okay. <laughs> she got a donut donut. I can't unsee it. I can almost taste it a little bit. No, Grady. We're off to, where are we going, Piper? TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. I don't have it. So y'all, uh, we're going to TJ Maxx. I know a lot of people have experienced storms last night and I'm praying today is graduation day for my home from where I graduated from so happy graduation day to Blue High School oh my goodness why is your hand sticky because you took half her donut I was telling y'all it had been no good donut since Shipley's do we still have one no we got a scarlet no, it's not. It is. It's not. It is. I think I'm dehydrated too because my lips feel like dehydration. <laughs> when, when, you're, when you're dehydrated, your lips start to peel. They start peeling and trying to crack. And I got so much um, stuff on there. And I don't care how much topical things you can put on your lips. If you're dehydrated, you just dehydrate it. Like you just need to drink water. I think I've sweated more than I drank and I need, probably need to take in more than I'm putting out. That's neither here or there. Ooh, she is bobbing me, smacking like this in this car in front of me. Go up to the line so the light will change. It's irritating me, okay? And then she's turning. Ooh, Lord Jesus. This is why I don't like to go out on the weekends. I would rather, much rather, just stay at home. But also, I, I like to get out. We good. Oh Lord, please let her get finished with a Jesus. Piper. <laughs>
welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Tisha, and I am a stay-at-home mom of four, ages two through 13, and I have two adult sons. Um, I am a military spouse, and I'm a homeschool mom. We are currently in our homeschool classroom. School ended about two weeks ago, and I know a lot of moms are just like me. They are looking for what to do during the summer. Consider this a guide to you as things that you can do or implement in your family along with vacations for the summer. So let's get right into it. I do have a notebook right here with all the things that I've written down for you guys as a, uh, as, as a guide for the summer. Now, these are suggestions and this is the guide that I'm using personally in my house with my three middle children as the summer is here. Now, if you guys do not know, my children attend a homeschool <clears throat> classroom, an actual classroom where they attend school three days a week and I have them two days a week at home. But since it's summer break, I have them every day <laughs> and my husband is currently deployed so I really needed to make a list of things that we needed to do in order so in order for my mind and heart and soul to not be in ruins at the end of the summer because he will be deployed the entire summer and they will be with me all summer so let's get right into it First things first, always make a schedule for your children. I say this all the time. I think on every sit down video that I have, I always talk about schedules. Why are schedules so important? Well, schedules are life and we are raising adults. Eventually they're gonna go into the workforce. They're gonna go off to college. They're not gonna be our total responsibility. And if we're not teaching them schedules, as children or adolescents, it's going to be a tough task when they're actual adults. So make a schedule for everything. Currently, it is 9.50. My children are all out of bed. They are currently in the living room waiting for me to get out of this particular room. And we're headed to the library after this. But um, they have to be up before 9 o'clock. They need to be dressed and ready to go by 10 o'clock. Why not eight or nine? I'm trying to give them some time to enjoy the summer because out during school by eight o'clock. So because it's summer, I'm trying to give them an extra hour to sleep in a little bit and I have a little break, but definitely they have to have schedules. They need times where they're gonna eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack. They need times where they need to be outside doing recreation. They need times where they are learning, reading, and then they need that time where they're talking to their friends and on social media. If your children are like mine, they are very, very social. They are often on the phone playing Roblox or the other games that they play on their phones. But, um, in order for them not to be on that all day, I try to keep a schedule for them so that I will not lose my children over the summer. And also, here's another thing. We're getting them right back prepared for the fall. And just imagine if your children are sleeping in all day during the summer, August hits, it's time to go back to school. They're not ready because they have slept all summer so we definitely need schedules the next thing on my list is groceries if you're like me or have been like me when it's summertime you just go out and buy all the snacks and drinks that you can thinking that you're going to keep a stash in your house for your children my question is like why why do we do this to ourselves? Like, why do we think our children need extra things in the summer that they didn't need in the fall? 
They were only eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And most of the time you sent lunch to school, most of our children don't even like to eat breakfast. And that snack was maybe a candy bar, a granola bar, or an apple, orange, or some type of fruit. But we're buying tons and tons of groceries into our house, and tons and tons of drinks. The kids are seeing this and they, do, they lose their mind. They're out of control. They don't know what to do. So they eat it all up. I was a kid. I did the same thing. Every summer, my mother would buy a whole bunch of groceries. My brothers and I, we would eat all the groceries. The second week, we had nothing in the house. So instead of doing that, just keep your same routine that you kept during school. If you are a parent like me and you had to send lunch to school, continue to buy that lunch food. I have kept that same schedule. My grocery bill has remained the same. If we run out of things, it will go on the next cycle. They've learned not to drink up everything during the first week because I'm not buying it again. So keep that in mind. Keep a schedule. Even if you pack like a lunch box for them, during the day, I'm telling you, it's going to save you a headache. It will save you some time and you may not want to do it. You're like, it's summer. We should be free, whatever. We spend an excess amount of money during the summer or we can use it in the fall for shoes, clothes, books, and things like that. So don't waste your money on that food. Purchase that food like you were purchasing during school. If they're hungry, there is bottles of water. Trust me, kids are gonna get a good nourishment. And make sure you're cooking dinner at night or make sure they're getting a nourishing meal before bed. Honestly, with children, most of the your meal is your dinner anyway. So make sure that counts. Learning, that's important. We lose a lot of our learning um, during the summer break. Don't lose track of learning. Even if you're not a homeschool mom like I am, and just a regular mom sending your children to school. They may come home with books or lessons. Take those, rewrite those down for those children so that they can go on um, with school next year. Because once school starts again, um, I know that most schools do a refresher when they go back to school. Some schools jump right in with the next lesson, but a lot of schools do a refresher. And the reason why they do a refresher because they lose so much at the beginning. So just imagine if you keep your children on on task um, during the summer. That's the dog, y'all. During the summer, by the time they get to school, they're on task and ready to go with school so that their teacher is not having to spend so much time trying to catch them back up to, the, to where they should be. And that leads me to reading. If you live in the state of Mississippi, I only really know from the state of Mississippi, um, there were a lot of children who failed the reading test. One reason we are failing reading is because we're not getting our kids up and teaching them to read early on, like three and four years old reading. And we're not keeping them consistent on things to read. I don't care what your children read last year, these are books that they read um, in school. This was Portland's. These were Portland's books last year in school. So if you have like a fifth grader last year, these will be good for the summer book. So this is called The Indian in the Cupper and 21 Balloons. These are good books that you can read the summer because he read them in school. He can actually go back and reread them during the summer and it will help him for this fall. Adventure. Plan daily adventures for your children. If you live near a national park or if you live near some walking trails, most states, most cities, most large cities have um, nice walking trails. They have nice downtown areas. You can plan scavenger hunts for your children where you can say, you know, find this or find that. I gotta hurry up after this. So plan those events for your children. You wanna speak to everybody? Hey. Hi. All right. And the last thing is to learn something new. If you are so busy during school, you're doing 
extracurricular activities. You are, um, you have tons of homework, just like no time. Once you get in from school, you do homework. It's time to go to bed. Take the summer time to learn something new, whether it is sewing, crocheting, learning a new musical instrument. Take that time during the summer and, and get one of those activities, bracelet making, any type of things. If you want to learn um, how to dribble a ball better, if you want to learn to get in shape and do weightlifting, take this opportunity during the summer and learn those things. Also, invest in Coursera. You could take, if you have teens, they can take pre-college courses and get actually, actually get a college credit during the summer with one of these classes. And, you know, you never know with the way tech is going and the way digital marketing is going, having your children already having a degree or some education in that background could take you a Mommy. long, long way. All right, I gotta go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something for you. If you want more videos like this, please put it in the comments below. I'll be glad to send you some more videos like this. If you want more information about homeschooling in the state of Mississippi, Alabama, or Tennessee, I got you. I got you. So until next time, see you guys later.